I'm going to teach you something a few people know. And it's basically that you can still, like an artist on Looker Studio, using the right templates. At Portometrics, we have a template gallery you can access from the main menu. And here you will see more than 80 templates made with our connectors that you can use, use to save hours of time just by copying the template or copying some charts from different templates. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. So I'm going to select just the LinkedIn pages uh, templates because that's the data source I'm using for this example. And I'm going to choose this social media template. I'm going to download it. And if you already ha have a um, Portometrix account, it will redirect you to the thank you page where you will find the template. So you will click here on access the template and you just have to copy the template to start stealing the charts and graphs. So basically here, I'm going to click edit and share. That is the function to copy our template. And when you click add to report, you will see that here it creates a copy of the original report. And you can confirm that, confirm that just by reading the title of the report. So here, every chart will appear broken. Why? Because we haven't connected any data source to the original, to the, to the report. And you will see that everything is broken. And why? It's because you haven't connected your data to this report. So you have to go to resources, manage added data sources, and here you will reauthorize each one. I'm just going to make this example with LinkedIn pages so I can illustrate the complete exercise that is replacing a data source so you can use any template. And the other use case is to copy charts from different templates to another report. So here, if you click on edit connection, you will see that as I already am connected to Looker Studio and I already authorized previously LinkedIn pages, is just going to ask me to select what account I want to select. In this case, I'm going to choose marketing thinking. And when I click reconnect, this will take each chart and it's going to update the data with my that with data from my account. So when I click apply, this is, this is going to update all the template. Okay, now remember one tip, always look for images and show them because Looker Studio automatically, automatically disables the images. So click done when you already completed this step and let's check if this is with, updated with data, okay? we see that the LinkedIn pages data is updated and we have a few errors here. It says uh, invalid metric and I see that it's not connected to my LinkedIn pages data source. I'm going to replace that and mm, I'm going to replace that with maybe engagement could, could be. I'm going to click here and I'm going to select engagement rate. And let's see, and here, engagement rate, let's see. And let's refresh, that's a tip. When you don't see something is working, sometimes you just have to refresh the report to visualize that. So here I already have the, um, the engagement rate working and here I don't see anything, so I'm going to delete it. and going to add the metric again as engagement rate and now it should, it should work. So here you can see how you can copy a template. You have to repeat this step with each data source. And for the example, I'm going to break down my screen so you can see how you can steal some charts from this template to this template, to this report, sorry. So you have to choose what you want to steal. In this case, I'm going to steal all this structure with icons, uh, rectangles, style and everything, and I'm going to select what I want to steal. In this case, I'm going to okay hide this and I'm going to select with my mouse every chart and icon I want to copy. So I'm going to select all the LinkedIn uh, row. Let me see and I'm going to paste it here. As you can see, I already copied the structure but the metrics weren't copied so I'm going to 
click and select and press shift so I can select more than one uh, chart and I'm going to paste it. When, I'm going, when I paste it into the new report, it's going to appear this message that is telling me that I'm adding charts with a new data source. As I already authorized my LinkedIn page uh, data source, is going to copy the charts and it's going to bring me the data and it's going to be very easy, but be careful. Why? Because anytime you copy a chart from another template and paste it to another report, it's going to duplicate your data source. So you have to be careful because now you will have not just one LinkedIn pages um, data source, but two. So you have to change the, the data source for, for these um, specific charts you added and then replace it with the original data source and then delete the data source which you copied um, that the charts from. But why why would you do this if it's an extra step? Okay, that's a good, good question. The answer is that it's a good practice because if you don't delete the data source you are adding when copying charts from a different template, you will have a lot of data sources and then you, will, you won't know which data source is using uh, is connected to a to a specific chart and that could be problematic in case you need to refresh uh, or change the data source so here on resources you can check which chart or which data source is not being used and delete it so i'm going to remove this one that has zero charts because i already replaced um, the data source here directly and now you have a style from a different template for your report in seconds. So basically it's a matter of choosing which templates works for your use case and then create your own report. I hope this helps and see you in a different video. Bye.